commentary. Uh, today, uh, well, I've been doing a lot of 1v1 replays these days, and so I decided to mix it up a bit. Do a 2v2. I know some people like this, like 2v2s. I know some people like free-for-alls. Just letting you know, it's pretty hard to find a good free-for-all game. I haven't even reviewed, seen this replay before, so this is the first time I've seen this replay, so it might suck. So don't get your hopes up. Really don't. Uh, it, it could be really bad. I'm hoping it's not going to be though. I got good. I got. I got my hopes up. So yeah, back in the day, this is a pretty old replay. I had to go searching through the archives to find it. But uh, yeah, I found it. There was a big tournament back in the day as well, two v two tournament. I think this was the finals of the tournament. So these both these all these players have a lot of stake. So yeah, back to the game. We have. Of clan team NE, which is I'm pretty sure stands for No Excuses. Uh, got some lag there. Smells so kind of choppy. Oh well. Uh, I'm pretty sure it stands for No Excuses. So it's team No Excuses. Kirko spawning at the top right, who's going for uh, Death Lord, Death Knights, who, and probably later on some fiends. And his partner is No Excuses. Cornox, responding at the bottom right, and going to be going for some Keeper of the Grove, probably some early Keeper of the Grove harass on this Orc player. Uh, and their opponents are Attacks Dark Day, I'll just call them Attacks, going for a Blade Master versus First Hero, pretty standard build for this Orc player. And his partner, uh, it's the Oz, I'll just call him Oz, okay, just easier to say Oz. Uh, spawning as the yellow human in the top left position. I'm gonna go for some power creeping on this creep camp. Gonna try and creep this as fast as he can. Nice base build from this guy. Nice base build from Oz. Probably wants to drop a farm right here. But a pretty nice base build blocking off all this space. He'll be able to drop Arcan Sanctum there later on. Arcan Sanctum there later on if he wants to do that. Uh, yeah, so Blade Master is gonna creep this camp. Should get to the level 1.9. Pretty sure that's how far you get along. Kornok's gonna be doing some Ancient of War creeping here. It looks like. As uh, so he's putting up a Huntress Hall, putting up an ancient, another Ancient of War. So we will be seeing some Huntresses, obviously, from uh, No Excuses, uh, from Team No Excuses Kornox. Looks like we'll be seeing some Huntress, a Huntress build. Um. Uh, with fiends, huntresses and fiends, which is always nice to see. It's always a fun, fun little combo. It's a really, really good combo too. Yeah. So Cornox and Kirko are gonna be coming in to do some nice harass on all these peasants. Getting two peasant kills already, so that's pretty sweet job. Keeper the group taking a lot of damage though, unfortunately. So is the Death Knights also taking a lot of damage. More warriors falling, more peons falling. Keeper the Grove very low on health. He probably doesn't want to. He wants to minimize any sort of health being taken from him. He probably wants to see that he will fall unless he TPs. There we go. He's going to TP. Really, uh, I don't think uh, he should. I think he overextended a little bit. He probably shouldn't have stayed that much. But oh well, what can you do? Uh, as the first Huntresses are going to start to get trained up for Cornox. Looks like he's not going to be creeping with this Ancient of War. It looks like it's just sort of a proxy Ancient of War. So he can get Huntresses that much quicker. That's what I'm assuming. He's obviously planning to maybe set up an expansion later on, putting that Wisp there, or maybe it's just for scouting purposes. Um, Oz going to power creep this camp as well, with the, uh, helpful, with the help of the Grunts uh, and the Merc. Uh, one Merc on goes down, a nice dispel from the Forceful Shadow Priest on that Entangling Rooster just to save it. Nicely done there. As, um, Kornox, pretty low level keeper, the pretty low hit point keeper of the Grove is going get, to get harassed by this Blade Master with Boots of Speed. And the keeper of the Grove has no beats of Boots of Speed and he has no way of getting out. He has no mana, no Entangling Roots. Probably wants to get some pathing done, but no, that Blade Master is going to windwalk out of there. And looks like he's going to do some pathing of his own, and he's got no mana either, so it looks like he's going to be forced to buy a TP. No, he won't have time either, so Blade Master's going to get to level 2. Fortunately, unfortunately for Cornox, he only has 2. 
Huntress is out as well. So it uh, looks like team uh, uh, no excuses. And obviously, it looks like they're losing. They're down by a little bit. But a uh, hidden expansion going to get set up. And I'm not sure if he's able to expand and keep his tree right here. I'm not sure if he has to walk it over here. If he can keep it there, that'd be kind of cool just to hide if he can hide it like that. Pretty sure you can do that over here. I'm not sure though. Then again, he could just eat a couple of trees and he'll be fine. Uh, Kirko almost should get to a level three death. Should get a level three death knight after this, as he's got a lot of skeleton warriors. Actually, a lot of them. Some of them should be timing out pretty soon. There we go. Yeah, some of them are gonna be just to, gonna time out. Level three death knight. Level one keeper of the grove. What level is that? Oh crap. What level is that blade master? Still only level 2.5 on that blade master. Some grunts gonna get caught up now. One grunt's gonna get entangled. Uh, so we're gonna see an engagement here as well. Um, one, the troll shadow priest gonna go down. These hunters is getting off a lot of nice hits on those grunts. Blade master gonna try and get some damage off on those fiends. One fiend gonna get very low on hit points. Does that death knight have enough for a coil? Looks like he does. He has enough for a level three coil, level two coil. I mean. But these uh, low hit point fiends are just going to run away, but that blade messer will have none of that. He's just going to try and get off as many hits as he can. He's going to get one fiend kill, it looks like. Boom. Let's see how it's going over here. Um, Oz going to pop a potion of invulnerability on that to save his um, Archmage from taking any more damage. More ghouls going to fall, more grunts going to fall, more fiends going to fall. Keep the heroes of uh, team on... Uh, no excuses are still pretty high hit points. Uh, uh, Shadow Hunter gonna come out for uh, for uh, attacks now, so we'll be seeing some hexes from him probably. If he if not, we'll be seeing some healing waves, which I doubt. Normally, Shadow Hunters go for hexes the first effect and then go for healing wave. Level three death knight. Lich is gonna come out as well. Let's see if the keeper of the grove went for a second hero. Looks like he didn't. Says Ox did find um the Ox did find the uh, the um, tree of life and kill it of the corn Ox's tree of life and he did kill it and he's gonna TP up and save everything except for one footman. Footman. Uh, the night of player, the um, undead player Pride wants to try and creep up and create and get his hero levels to really high levels because if you can get those hero those undead heroes to high levels that is just death for an enemy player there's those enemy those nukes just get to be too powerful but those night elf nukes uh, with those undead nukes it just gets to be insane dps it really does but um looks like first the raider first raider first um spear walkers are going to come out for the for this orc player and he's going to try and creep up his shadow hunter well, wow. looks like the human player with second hero, Mountain King. I'm gonna go for a Mountain King or a second hero. Let's see the techs. Human player is still at a keep. The undead is teching a tier, th just about a tier three. Knight of player staying at tier one. Gonna stick to with huntresses. And the orc player still sticking at tier two. Out of training, gonna be finished for the spear walkers momentarily. So he will have the spell, which is pretty key. Playing against anyone. Uh, a, hunters, a lot of hunters is now for Cornox and a lot of fiends as well for Kirko. So they prob will probably win this fight. The Death Knight very low on hit points. Going to pop up Squirrel of Healing. Nice I A lot of nice items on that Death Knight as well. Pendant of Energy and, and Sobe Mask. So he'll have basically unlimited death coils if he wants. Oh jeez, a lot of hunters is going to fall for uh, corn for D Eden, uh, no excuse Cornox. This is really bad. Kirko's gonna TP out while the Keeper of the Grove is gonna get ensnared and he does no TP, he won't be able to TP out either and that Keeper of the Grove will fall. Mountain King getting to level 2, Archmage level 4, Shadow Hunter level 2, Blade Master level 3.5. This is very bad for team, uh, no excuses, no excuses, uh, really falling behind here, especially in hero levels. Looks like this Ancient of War will get scattered out, or not. Looks like this uh, yellow team will just creep out this creep camp very easily as Kirko's going to try and get his hero levels up like I said he should. 
creeping out this orange can. I'm not interested in getting creep checked by any sort of blade master. Gonna use a dust of appearance. More fiends, more statues gonna come in for Kirko. His death knight might get to level four. Maybe I doubt it actually. Yeah, he won't get to level four just quite. Yeah, he's just short of level four. Blade Master level 3.5 gonna come in, gonna try and get some hits off on those acolytes, but they're pretty nice base build here, blocking off all the acolytes. Ghoul's gonna come out as well. Lots of, he does have lots of wood, so he's gonna pull all the ghouls as well. If he wants to keep one on wood, yeah, I know. Looks like he's not going to. He doesn't want to keep anything on the wood. Let's see what happens here. Kornok's gonna go for another hidden tree of life, but team the yellow team will have none of that and they'll scout this out pretty easily Tangled, the entangling mold, the gold mine the entangled gold mine will get cancelled pretty easily uh, is he gonna re-entangle it that looks like he's not going to and we will see an engagement here between uh, the two teams all players are here all their armies are here invisible Kodo for some reason did eat a huntress just going to be sitting there, I guess, for the war drums effect. All the hero levels are still pretty high hit points. None of the heroes are getting really heavily focused. Blade Master is fine so far. Death Knight's fine. All players are fine. A lot of Huntresses have fallen. A lot of Raiders have fallen. Fiend's getting focused by this Blade Master. But all they need is one good hero nuke on that Blade Master, and that Blade Master will fall. The Lich getting to level 3, so that's level 2 Frost Novas. That's going to be pretty huge. A lot of casters are going to fall as well now. Fiend's still getting heavily focused as the Blade Master is just going to TP away. For some reason to save his Shadow Hunter. I don't know why he TP'd away there. And it looks like the, this uh, Mountain King might get coiled. Does he have a mana for coil? No, not enough mana for coil. That's why. Death Knight has enough money, and by coil I mean Nova. No, the Death Knight can definitely has enough for a coil. I mean, nice coil on that priest, killing that priest. Probably wants to get as many cash kills as he can. Ooh, Pat Rider's gonna come in, and he's, they will get a lot of nice hits off on those, on those destroyers. Oh, more Bat Rider's gonna come in as well. Probably want to pull back those destroyers before those Bat Riders come. And invisible Bat Riders, that's pretty uh, hard to kill. That's pretty hard to predict. You have no idea when they're, they're going to come. You probably have to heal those up as fast as you can. Or get some sort of a, an armor upgrade or something. Is he researching any sort of armor upgrade? Nope. He's going to be getting a Crypt Lord, though. That's pretty sweet. A Crypt Lord for his third hero. I like this hero combo. I love this hero combo, actually. It's a really good hero combo. Um, and Kornok's just going to stay at Tier 1. Going to go for a third Ancient of War. It looks like, oh no, this Ancient of War got taken down, so he's going to go for another second Ancient of War. What level are these Huntresses? They should have, well, they will have one more upgrades. As well, these Fiends have upgrades. Nope, no upgrades on those Fiends. Looks like, and these Bat Riders are just going to be looking for those Destroyers. Destroyers are pretty far off, though, and they're getting healed by these statues. As um, Undead's going to continue to just creep up his, his Undead heroes, trying to get the best nukes that he can. That level 3 death coil will be able to do some pretty heavy damage against those enemy heroes. As uh, Team Yellow is also going to power creep as well. Going to power creep this orange camp. Um, what level is that Shadow Hunter? You need a high level Shadow Hunter to do really if you want to do really well. A lot of invisible bad riders though, so any sort of destroyer army will just get annihilated. He wants to try and stay away from too many destroyers, because they will just get absolutely destroyed. Um, Alright, let's see the techs. How are the techs? Black Citadel. Still only a keep for the human, I'm surprised. The human does have an expansion, but it, will, it looks like it has just been scattered out by Kornox. A lot of Huntress is going to be heavily focused. Probably wants to cast Spirit Link, but no, Kornox is just going to TP out. Hide all his Huntress is going to TP out. One foot man should fall. No, he will live. Wow, I'm, that's pretty funny. Anyways, the human player looks like he's going to TP back just in time. All these Bat Riders are going to come in. 
Invisible Batrider is going to take down a lot of destroyers. It looks like one or two destroyers went down there. And some of them are very low hit points. And the Undex is going to very smartly and just going to TP out. And it looks like the Orc Club lost all of his Batriders. That's really bad for that Orc player. That's really not a good trade. That's a lot of money lost now. That's really not a good trade. I don't like that trade at all. He's going to just continuously pump out these bat riders, though. Huh. More Huntresses is just going to come out. Kornak is just staying at Tier 1. More and more Huntresses. I probably, I think I'd suggest him teching sometime soon. He's got a l He should have a lot of Huntresses by now, no? Yeah, he's got a lot of Huntresses. Probably start a tech. Maybe go for Dryads or something a little bit better than Huntresses. Then again, Huntresses coupled with Fiends are pretty, pretty damn good. It's a pretty good combo. Unit combo. Crypt Lord still only level 1, Death Knight level 5, level 3 Lich. Pendant to Map passed over to that Lich, very smart decision. And the Orc gonna very smartly just TP out. Another destroyed, looks like it just fell. That's pretty bad for, um, Kirko. Doesn't want, wants to try and minimize losing those destroyers. He really should, he does have one armor upgrade, very smartly done by him. I'd even get a second armor upgrade, I really would. He's gonna just continue to get another slaughterhouse, he's gonna get more and more. More and more, uh, destroyers, it looks like. Uh, so, team, no excuses, gonna come in, continuously gonna just creep. Just gonna continue to creep. <sighs> Uh, there's a lot of sorcerers actually now for Oz. Wow, I haven't really been keeping track of the food. So 70 food for Oz. 60 food for Kirko. 60 food for Cornox. And 52 food for Attack. So about even food wise. Just about even. Maybe Team No Excuses has a little bit more because he just picked up a bunch of mercs actually. So he just picked up a bunch of mercs to get out to level 60 food. Those huntresses are 3 food, I'm pretty sure. Now we may see an engagement between uh, red and yellow. That'd be kind of cool to see a lot of casters against a lot of huntresses. Oh no, the arc player is going to come in as well. Uh, we should see the undead player coming to help out red. We may see a big fight right here. This would be really a great fight to see. I'm going to be kind of excited to see this. They really should be trying to, I really think um, team uh, No Excuses should try and engage here. I think they'd probably win this fight. Maybe they're going to retreat over to the Blight. Or they're going to look for some sort of a choke hold here. Some sort of a choke here, a small choke. That way they can, f can do a lot of focus firing and stuff. These casters also want to get in a sort of choke, but a, l a lot of bad riders too though to kill all these, and they'll be able to kill all these destroyers pretty much. Unless they're badly placed, but yeah, a lot of destroyers will fall. More abomination's gonna come out. He probably should, probably should um, research that disease cloud. It's a really good effect, that disease cloud. Both players gonna come and attack um, the Cornox now. Both players are gonna TP back, it looks like. Nice TP there, and nice TP there, right on top of them, basically. This is, uh, oh, and check this out, the Archmage did research Blizzard for a second effect, so that looks like some level 3 Blizzard, which is really effective against, uh, fiends and stuff. Potion of Speed being used for those, so from the Orc, all the Destroyers look like they're, it uh, looks like all the Destroyers are dead. Lots of Huntresses are gonna get killed now, because they're all sort of right in the middle. Let's see, the, f the Lich should probably start getting some, some good Frost Novas off. More of Raiders gonna fall as well. The, um... Human caster army, massive human caster army is just going to run away. He's going to try, try and take down as many casters and trances as he can. Maybe try and get a surround off on that mountain king. Nice surround on that mountain king. He's going to be using a potion of invulnerability, but he's still trapped, unfortunately. Oh no, it looks like unfortunately he did get away. Nope, another, um, it looks like another uh, surround in the mountain. Level 3 Mountain King, which is pretty huge, will go down. Crypt Lord getting to level 3. Death Knight level 5. Level 4 Lich. Level 4 Keeper of the Grove. Has he started his tech? Just to get the second hero, you know. He should probably just start his tech just for that second hero. I would anyways. Yeah, I definitely would. Peak 
dust of appearance that Blade Master would have been screwed. Anyways, what level is that Shadow Hunter? This is a pretty long game, jeez. Uh, looks like we're going to have another engagement here. These fiends are in a really nice position here. Unfortunately, Blizzard's going to get off a lot of damage on those fiends. That Keeper of the Grove's just going to TP out. And then looks like, yeah, Team No Excuses are just going to TP out because they look, apparently they weren't going to win that fight. They were just going to lose that fight. Ooh, that's kind of a bad TP. Cornox is trapped inside his own base. Unfortunately, he's going to be forced to kill something. Jeez, that's horrible. That's really too bad. Oh no, he's just gonna eat trees, it looks like. Yep, yeah, just gonna eat trees so that his units can get out. That's kind of a small delay though, he probably doesn't wanna do that. He doesn't have an expansion though, so that's pretty good. Looks like Quarks is gonna set up another second expansion, so he's gonna be running off three mines unless this one is about to time out. Why does he keep doing that? It keeps just like making me go right up here in the top right. It does that in all my commentaries. Main goal of mines look like they're about to time out though right now. Uh, yeah, main goal mines are should all be out now. Let's see the human player, yeah, down to 100 gold. Let's see the orc, yeah, orc is done. So basically, Team Yellow has one gold mine compared to Team Gray's one soon, one gold mine, maybe two gold mines, pretty soon. So it's pretty even at the moment. Uh, let's see the food count. 78 for the human. 55 for the orc. 69 for the undead. 46 for the... For the, um... Night elf. So, obviously Team Grey a bit of a food disadvantage. Is at a food disadvantage. But he's got a pretty nice item, actually. A pretty nice, um... Army composition. That's a lot of casters and uh, more bat riders for um, uh, for this uh, team yellow. Oh no, it looks like uh, team no excuses is in a bit of a bad position, but no, it's all right. He's gonna get into a good position. That wants to try and get all these fiends in here so they can get off as many hits as they can, as well as those huntresses. A lot of uh, spell breakers as well. Wants to try and keep that keeper of the grove alive. Got to keep that keeper of the grove alive. That blade master is gonna try and. Get off some hit, many hits as you can on that. A lot of nice blizzards as well are going to be used. So far, no hero deaths at all. More blizzards are going to be casted across all those units. That's a really nice blizzard damage. Jeez, holy crap. Entangling roots on that Archmage just to try and stop the blizzard. But no, the blizzard's going to continuously get casted. That might even be... A, if they win this, that'll be... I'm going to say it's because of the blizzard. That blizzard has just been the game-changing factor in this game. That's such big, that's such, so, so good. It really is. He needs, the undead player needs to get some sort of a Nova Core off on that damn Archimage, but they're not able to because of all the feedback damage from those stuff breakers. Jeez. One looks like one hunter is going to see this expansion. Going to be taking down most of the peasants, it looks like. Pretty sweet. That's pretty nice economy. A lot of economy just lost for its Oz now. Yeah, one hunch is gonna go down, but it's really it's a it's a lot better uh, trade off. I think Cornox really did win that fight. Nice storm bolt, and that huntress will go down. It will not be able to escape. Looks like this orc army is pretty well dis diminished. He won't be able to get that too many more units. He will be able to get some bat riders. That's probably just from past cold and stuff. Got a lot of lumber, but. Maybe do some long distance mining, I would think. Probably wants to start doing some long distance mining or use them for spirit link or something. He does have a lot of peasants though. Peons, I mean. Yeah, Cornox is running on two gold mines right now. Looks like he's going to be running on a third pretty soon. If he can get on three gold mines, that'd be pretty sweet. It looks like he's passing gold to Kirko as well, so obviously they have a, a quite a large economic advantage. They are a bit of an army disadvantage. This human player does have so many spellbreakers. These spellbreakers are really good units to mass. Oh, and they will not scout out this uh, this uh, expansion. 
They're gonna be forced to try and save these, these all these peons in transit. Oh, this whole dead army does not want to face this army. They will get crushed, it looks like. I don't think they'll come out of that and winning, at least. What does this night elf have? The night elf's got just about nothing. He's got mercs and a keeper of the grove. That's about all he has. How much money does this night elf have? Probably a lot, I'd, I'm assuming. Nope, he doesn't actually. More hunters are going to come out, but... He is running on two gold mines, so he can't be doing that bad. Soon to be a third, I guess. Yep, soon he should have a third gold mine pretty soon. Looks like this uh, tree life will go down, though. It's going to get mass repaired by these wisps to try and save it. He needs to try and save that. It's pretty key that he saves that gold mine. Keeper the Grove goes down. That's pretty huge. More Spellbreaker is going to get killed. Unfortunately, that was too late, that healing chain. This was a little bit late. A lot of Blizzard getting casted again. Oh no, that Death Knight may go down. He cannot lose that Death Knight. Good push on the vulnerability to save that Death Knight. Wants to try and get off more Nova coils, but unfortunately not quite enough for Nova. Oh, and the Death Knight goes down. That might be it. I'd say that's just about it. Level 5 Death Knight. That's huge. This is a I'm level 6 Blade Master as well. Crypt going to go down as well. Oh, jeez. That's really bad. Looks like, can he get the Death Knight? And the Death Knight, nice invisibility to save that Death Knight. So, now all he has is a level 4 Lich, which should be going down pretty soon if that Blade Master can get him. Yeah, Blade Master is just going to have to target down the Lich now. Yep. The Lich will go down momentarily. Now, there's no more heroes. The, the, the team, no excuse, is going to be forced to GG. There's nothing they can do. Yeah, there we go. There's the GG. And they Wow, I, mean, I thought I was sure that they would win. Team No Excuse is a really good team, actually. But uh, Teal and Yellow really tore it up all the way throughout the game. They played really, really well. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a 2v2. Uh, tell me if you want me to make more. I kind of enjoyed it. I prefer 1v1s, though. I really do. And uh, so, yeah, stay tuned for maybe one more. I doubt it, but you never know. So, yeah, see you later.